Okay, people, and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Brian Bacchus, and tonight's topic is we're focused on Mark Zuckerberg, of course. The hearings today, all eyes were watching it. Lots of things were discovered about the Senate. Lots of things were discovered about Mark Zuckerberg. It's one of the things I took away from it is that the man stood up and answered every question, and what he couldn't answer, he made sure that he'd give you an answer later. Uh, one of the main things that uh, I looked at is, you know, there's five points that you can really discuss. And uh, we're going to start with the first one, basically, is that, you know, everyone thinks that Facebook is a monopoly. Well, the, the, the thing about Facebook is that Facebook has, is a platform, and they hire almost a thousand different vendors to build different types of apps and all types of other widgets and zaps and all kinds of little tweaks or small little artificial intelligence bots that allow apps to interact the way they do, which makes our lives easier. He's just one platform. There were several different platforms mentioned, Google, Microsoft. They all are entities in themselves. So you can't really single out one particular platform that's actually utilizing things. Plus, the main topic about today's issue was trust and did you sell our data? Well, let me tell you something, folks. I'm going to lean in on this one. Since the beginning of the computer age, you all have had to sign what we call a EULA, E-U-L-A, which stands for End User Licensing Agreement. Every time you install an app, Every time you put something on your phone, every time you put something on your Kindle, your iPad, your iPhone, your whatever, you have to check that you accept the terms of service or the agreement or the licensing agreement because that's the way it stays free. You normally know this because you see it every time you get ready to do something. So. Stop crying about your data got lost because one of the main things that I ask everyone, did you read the EULA agreement? No. You want to know why? It's the same reason why you don't read the fine print on prescription medication because it's so little that you can't read it, but you can always look it up on the Internet and find out for yourself, but you won't. Because even when you listen to those commercials for the medication and it tells you that it causes 1,800 different side effects, you don't care because you want your headache to go away, not knowing that your liver could be damaged or you could get diabetes. So kill that noise with the, I didn't know he sold my data. This has been going on since computers were first released to the public in about 1985. We had them in our schools. Remember the Apple II C's and all that? You know, come on now, people. You're, you're acting like this is something new. And for you new people, your young people, everything that you have that you use for free costs money. It doesn't cost you maybe cash out of your pocket, but it's actually costing you something, which is your data, which is your name. And if you put something fake, you won't get the, the agreement. They won't send you the email that confirms it. That's the whole point of doing this. They want to know you're a real person. So on that note, the privacy thing, they're making a big deal out of it. Why? Because everyone knows that you got to sign an agreement. Even when I set up systems for companies, especially hospitals, when I have to set them up for HIPAA compliance, when you log in, there's a big box that comes up there that says, by clicking OK, you are going to acknowledge that you are giving us every right to record everything that you do on this computer because this is a company computer. So therefore, do the math. Uh, they're talking about Facebook becoming paid. Folks, this is not going to happen. If it does, they'll have it like they had MTV and MTV2. ESPN and ESPN2. You're going to get one free one no matter what. So, rest assured, Facebook is not going anywhere. In fact, we're getting ready to go to the FA conference up in May, 
in San Jose and he's unleashing the 10 year plan. This is not going to stop the juggernaut folks. So either get off Facebook and wonder what your friends are doing or stay on and deal with it. Just know that everything you put up is going to be used in some sort of way. Simple as that. Um, Along those same lines, everything's moving to artificial intelligence, meaning that artificial intelligence will be checking to make sure you have a real account so it can kill all the fake ones. Uh, a lot of problems that we had with that uh, analytica group that stole all the information, which they actually didn't steal it. A doctor figured out a way around the algorithm. He downloaded, he created a quiz. It answered questions. People were naive. They want to do something. They always follow the leader, as Simon says around here. They filled out the information. It pulled their friend's information. They sent it to the spot that did data collection. They used it to analyze and make a better quiz. You filled it out. I don't like the Farmville, the, the give me points for this. I don't participate in any of that. In fact, half my page shows blocked everything. Uh, another thing. Listening to your phone. Well, I'm just going to break it down for you folks. Your phone is always listening. Your microphone is always on. You want to know why? And actually, you, you, you use it all the time. When you do voice commands, when you want to have somebody, I mean, the, the computer, the phone dial your phone numbers. Uh, Siri. Uh, the other ones that are around. I can't even think of them right now because that's not the focus. But basically... Your mic is always on. If you ever notice how certain things get in your feed, your mic is always on. You have apps that actually turn your mic on. You have dozens of apps on your phone. One of them is going to turn it on. You can turn it off, but guess what? When you go do voice to text and you're in the car trying to drive, oh, it doesn't work because you turned it off. It's a catch-22, folks. Deal with it. That's all you can do. Um, oh, my favorite one of all day today. Senators, it's time you stepped your game up. You're old. You're out of touch. You don't realize that technology has been around. I'm 51 years old. I've been around technology since I was 13 because my father had the wherewithal to alert me to the fact that this is where the future was going. And my father is 100% totally blind and he could see the future. But you senators getting your push jobs and you only want to think about legislation but you fail to remember that you all have a blackberry an iphone a droid a computer a tablet you use this technology every day you do the exact same thing that everybody else does you don't want to read the fine print you don't want to read the terms of service you don't want to read the terms and conditions you just want it to work so you click on it and go and then you understand. Then you don't understand how things work. Well, maybe you should take one of those Udemy close uh, Udemy courses. That's u d e m y dot com for ten bucks, and you can learn how Instagram works, or Twitter, or Facebook, or points per click, or click through rate, or SEM, or SEO. You can learn all this stuff. It doesn't take long. Just some time and ten bucks for life. Life. There's no excuse. I'm just going to leave it at that. just want to leave you guys on a note that look. Embrace the technology. Learn how to use it. It's out there. It's free right now. <clears throat> use it while it's free. This is going to be the year of video. This is going to be the year of video content. This is going to be the year of video commercials. No one wants to read anymore. We're getting into a society where we're kind of getting ignorant on phonics. And reading is no longer fundamental because you either want to text it or talk it or not even worry about spelling because you wanted to find the spelling uh, errors and fix it for you. Everyone's dumbing down with technology. Stop, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Let's not rise. I'm Brian Bacchus, and thank you for taking the time out, paying attention to my summary. I'll say summary on what has happened today. Thank you. Peace out.